Hi there, it's Roxanne Inasata from Fresh Paint Studio. We're here to talk to you about our Fresh Paint To Go series. The next project that we're going to be talking to you about is our Paint A Puzzle project. So it's really cool in that what you can do is actually get a blank puzzle set, and this is actually a paintable puzzle set. So what happens is you can use regular uh, water-based acrylics to paint it, and you can use some brushes and you can use some sponges to do some actual work in terms of designing. So it's one of the really fun activities that kids can do to help keep them engaged while they're perhaps at home and something that they can do that's fun and creative. So in order to do this, what we did was we used, again, we used some sponges and we used brushes. First thing we did was our background, right Asata? So I think we used some sponges. So we used a sponge and we used the sponge to create the clouds and to create different textures here on the actual puzzle. So with the different textures, we did the background and then we used some brushes, right Asata for the grass? Did we use some light green? Was that right? Yes, so we used light green and then we did that for our background work and then we actually used some dark green as well. So that was how we got the grass in there. We did a bit of texturing to make it look more like grass, but not just one color of green. We used a couple of colors of green. So that was really cool and fun. And then Asata, we had the idea to use the brush to do the sun, right? Yeah, so we did a sun, we sort of did a bit of sponge work and then we did some design work with our brush to make the sun appear. And then it was time to let the background dry. Because with this project, it's about doing layers. So it's not just doing one layer and so you paint it and you're done, but it's great if the kids can develop at least two layers to paint. So after the painting was dry, in terms of the background, what we did was we then thought about what we wanted to put on top, right, Asata? So you decided to do what were these ones we did? Elephants. Yes, so we did some elephants. And Asata was really excited about putting some elephants into the background scene. So what we did at that point, I'll just get you to hold that for me, Asata. What we did at that point was after the background was done, I don't have the uh, tape on the elephant, but we did put some tape on the back of our stencil. So just some green tape, and then you want to make sure that's securely put in place, gently. And then what you can do is take your sponge and you can sponge around it. It's really recommended that you don't use too much paint because too much paint can cause the paint to bleed underneath your stencil and you'll lose the design. But if that happens a little bit, it's not a, a big issue. So after you've done your sponge work, you can then move the stencil to a different position and then place it on another spot on your puzzle. So you can put it probably at least two stencils in place there to make your whole design come to life. And then you've got a really cool scene. So it's a matter of, as I said, doing layers. So not just one layer, you do one layer, you can let it dry, and then you can put another layer on top. And then you can even add little details as well. You can add eyes, you could add other features onto the elephant. I think it was Asata's idea to add the eyes onto the elephant. And then after that, we sort of let it dry. If you wanted to add other designs or embellishments to it, you could as well. But then it's time for even more fun because after the puzzle dries, of course, you can take it apart and do it as an activity. So it's a really fun one in terms of multiple levels that the kids can be engaged on and it's a really creative one. So these are elements that you can find in any art store in terms of the brushes, the paints, other stencils or anything else. Um, but if you are in need of a kit or a package of everything conveniently delivered to you, we offer what's called a Fresh Paint To Go kit. So with that, you get everything that you see here. You get your puzzle boards, your stencils, and everything to create your puzzles. And all you have to do is you can send us an email or you can check us out online at freshpaintstudio.ca or our email address is info at freshpaintstudio.ca and we'll send the kit to you. We also offer a doorstep pickup option if that's something that you're interested in as well. So with that being said, this is our Paint a Puzzle project that we worked on. And it's one that's really fun and creative. If you'd like more information, please give us a call or send us an email. Otherwise, take care and see you soon. Thanks for watching.